Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going to look at one of the most surprising and dangerous cyber attacks ever discovered, a WhatsApp vulnerability that allowed hackers to take over a phone with nothing but a missed call. No clicking links, no downloading files, just a silent intrusion. Let's jump into how this zero-click exploit worked, why it was so serious, and what we can learn from it. Back in 2019, there was a pretty wild discovery involving WhatsApp. Attackers could hack a smartphone with just a missed call. You didn't have to answer it, you didn't have to click anything, the fact that a call was placed was enough. This type of hack is known as a zero-click exploit, and it's honestly one of the scariest trends in cybersecurity. It showed that you don't have to fall for a scam or click something suspicious to lose control of your device. Sometimes just existing on the network is enough. Most people think cyber attacks are always obvious, maybe a strange message, a pop-up, or a file that looks out of place. But here everything happened silently. A deceptive connection was made, malware was injected, the device was compromised, and the user remained completely unaware. If you looked at the phone afterward, nothing would look unusual. The missed call might not even be there anymore. It's like someone broke into your house and cleaned up after themselves. Zero-click attacks are basically stealth mode in cyber warfare. They require zero user interaction, they activate automatically, and they can target multiple devices and apps. Imagine someone ringing your doorbell, and your door quietly unlocks itself, no fingerprint, no code, nothing. No alerts, no warnings, just silent access. That's the level of danger we are talking about. The core issue in WhatsApp was in its call setup process. The app used VoIP packets, and it didn't properly validate the size of incoming data. Attackers sent a malicious packet that caused a buffer overflow. Because WhatsApp trusted incoming call data, attackers could write their own code directly into memory and execute it remotely. In simple terms, WhatsApp believed every incoming call was safe, and attackers abused that trust. This wasn't a flaw in encryption or passwords, it was just about memory handling. Here's how the attack worked, step by step. The attacker prepared the spyware payload, then initiated a WhatsApp call. While the victim's phone silently processed the data, memory got corrupted. That allowed the spyware to install itself in the background. Then the call log was erased so the victim never even saw a missed call. The entire attack took just a few seconds, and it didn't matter whether the phone was locked or unlocked. Once Pegasus, the spyware linked to this exploit, was installed, it basically owned the whole device. It could record audio, turn on the camera, read encrypted chats, capture keystrokes, track GPS, and steal files and photos. This wasn't a simple hack of WhatsApp. It was a complete device takeover. Full surveillance with no physical access and no interaction from the victim. Think about that for a second. Encrypted apps like Signal, Telegram, even iMessage become irrelevant if the device they're on is compromised. What made this exploit special was the level of sophistication. It required zero user action. It worked across both iOS and Android. It cleaned up after itself, deleting call logs and hiding evidence. And it had military-grade engineering behind it. This is the kind of technology normally used by intelligence agencies, not regular cyber criminals. Most attacks try to trick you into doing something. This one didn't need you at all. The exploit was linked to Pegasus, developed by the NSO Group. It was sold to governments as a surveillance tool. It was used to target journalists, activists, and dissidents. Citizen Lab discovered the attack in 2019, and Facebook, which owns WhatsApp, patched the vulnerability shortly after. The flaw was officially documented as CVE 2019-3568, which means it was serious enough to get tracked and catalogued worldwide. Technically, the entire issue came down to a simple but critical mistake. 
WhatsApp didn't verify how big incoming data was before storing it. An attacker sent an intentionally malformed packet. Because the length was not checked, the data overflowed into adjacent memory, corrupting it and allowing malicious code execution. It was an old-school buffer overflow, but in a modern context where a messaging app became the entry point. Data basically traveled from the attacker's phone to the victim's device inside distorted VIP packets. The buffer overflow happened before the call screen even fully appeared, which is why no interaction was needed. If the system processes data before you even see it on your screen, it's possible for attacks to happen before you are aware anything is happening at all. Once this was discovered, WhatsApp responded quickly. They released an emergency update in May 2019, added packet validation, improved memory handling, and set up mitigation systems to detect similar exploit attempts. And here's the real takeaway from this whole case. Patches matter more than antivirus. Updating your apps is one of the simplest but most effective ways to stay safe. Every update exists for a reason. There are some basic steps anyone can follow to reduce their risk. Keep messaging apps updated. Enable automatic updates. Apply operating system security patches regularly. And restarting your device occasionally can even disrupt active spyware connections. None of these things are complicated, but they make your device much harder to compromise long term. To summarize everything, a flaw in WhatsApp's VIP memory handling allowed attackers to run code remotely. The payload arrived through a missed call, no user action required. Pegasus spyware gained near total control of devices. WhatsApp fixed the issue in 2019, but it highlighted just how dangerous zero-click attacks can be. If a single missed call can hack a phone, it shows how important awareness and timely updating really are. The case also reminds us that cybersecurity threats are becoming quieter, faster, and much harder to notice. These findings came from WhatsApp's official security advisory, Citizen Labs Pegasus Investigation Report, the CVE 2019-3568 documentation, and multiple technical analyses of NSO group exploits.